Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, I'm going to take you around one of my facilities for resupplying, and it uses a little bit of a modular system within my dropships. Now, this was a question that was asked quite a while ago, and that's why this facility was built. So I thought I'd show you around the place today and talk you a little bit over the concept. So the concept or the question you could say that was asked was to build a ship that could accept a variety of cargo. So say something like a, a rover could fit in here, maybe some cargo containers, maybe something else. And each of these modules are pre-fitted and easy to fit into the ship itself. So let's go outside and actually have a look at the system that I've been messing around with. Now this is not the most functional system ever, but it is fun and it's a level of role play you could even say. So the ship's there docked, we've got the trapdoor below and that one has been unloaded. But this ship over here is awaiting us to unload it. So I'll show you through the process. So down here below, we actually have the cargo system and we can produce a number of different cargo variants down there that I'll show you the modules very shortly once we've docked this ship. So we're gonna hop in here. We've got the back area there. No cargo on board just now, but we're gonna load some aboard. So we're gonna hop into this cockpit here and the first thing we're going to do is reverse this piston so we can actually lower the back down and get that ramp open. So we're lowering that down, lowering that down, and once it's in position, we lock it. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. That's good enough for me. Uh, bring up the other menu, and we've got a lot of different other controls, but we're just going to leave them for the moment because we don't plan on flying the ship out of here. We'll open up and lower the back door. That's fine. And then we also need to open the cargo bay. So the bottom of the cargo bay, I believe, is up here. There we go. Cargo bay can open down. Wow, that's cool. Um, and into the cargo actual facility itself. So this is going to be pushed up into this area and loaded in. And this projector can project a whole variety of different modular cargo. And that's what I was going on about. So you could load rovers, buggies. You could load crates just like this. You could have troop transports. I'll show you some of the ones I've built anyway out here. We've got the actual crate system, so we can have four different cargo containers full with our transport sort of duty. We've got a troop transport here with a number of seats, and we've got a little box for ammunition or extra things you might need on a mission. Here we have my favorite module, the propaganda module. So you'd travel out to some area, you'd drop this module off, and you'd play music or maybe some sort of propaganda speech for your faction, convincing people to join. And this module down here that's kind of floating away is the backup generator module so say a ship runs out of power you drop one of these guys next to it you quickly connect it up and you can get that ship back into action or at least return it back to your station just what you need to survive now let's head back inside so let's actually take a look at the function of this machine now you've seen my 3d printer idea in the past and it is exactly the same but a little bit of a twist now these cargo containers are going to be powered by this area through here so whatever supplies we want to get into them cargo containers can actually be loaded instantly as soon as the item has been created and let's actually give this thing a whirl so if we add f8 we'll actually move to spectator camera to make it a little bit more interesting we've got the cargo bay up above ready to receive the payload and we're going to begin the process so the first step is move the welders into position you can see the welders come into position on the side and this is also set to a timer block but i'm doing it manually now to actually show you and the next process is to activate the welders of course it's welded up the first part the welders then go to this part here where they hit a sensor and they come back to weld up the rest of the actual machine itself so once the welders are done we switch them off and we move on to the grinder now the grinder grinds away at them little blocks there that once connected it up to the side and once they're cut away you can actually see how the projectors pop back on and we're going to lock that in place with the landing gear so now that's locked in place with the landing gear, we can actually proceed a little bit higher into the hull for this next part. And we're gonna begin pushing up and reversing the landing gear. So there's two stages to this. The first stage will bring it to one level where it can be visually inspected by whoever's inside. So it'll bring it a little bit further up and lock it in place there. So the crew members can now can look and see, make sure if everything's aligned. And for instance, in this case, it looks like it's just about good enough maybe a little bit more alignment the pilot should have parked it better and now we're just going to bring it up that final stage and lock it into place so as that pushes up it locks into place and the landing gear below disconnects itself because now that is a separate entity and it's as simple as bringing five and six down from the hull and we've got one of our modules loaded now what is also quite fun is if we hop out of this spectator camera for the moment with that and press t we head back up into the hull 
we actually have a look at the ship. We could actually load this thing up and fly away now. We could hop in here. We can also disconnect this module as well. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And with this button here, we close the cargo ramp below. And you can see how the ramp actually closes up. All we have to do now is close the back door. And we could pretty much fly away with our cargo loaded. But let's actually show you the unloading process. So hit T on that. Cargo door's going to come down. I'm going to hop back down into the area below. And we're going to bring up a 5 and a 6. So 5 and 6. And we're going to hop back up here. Obviously, with two users or that set on the timer block, we could do it a lot faster. So that's actually going to get in itself into position to unload the cargo. So we hop back in here. We disengage the merge block. So with that merge block disengaged, we can actually lock that back in place. By going back down. It's a little bit tedious, I know, I know. And we lock that back in place with a 4. And then we press a 5 and a 6. And we bring our crate back down where we could unload it. And we could unload it by simply reactivating the welder or clipping down one of the pods at the other end. So I thought I would just share that idea with you today. I found it quite interesting messing around with different modules, adding them into the ships and just trying to work out what sort of things are necessary. But I've actually run into a little bit of a situation with one of my drones now. So I'm literally head out there and try to get this thing recovered with the backup power generator that I've put inside. So we'll disengage the landing gears, retract them, turn into forward flying mode and we'll activate the hangar door and exit. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.